my first vegan friend lived on potato chips and Coca-Cola. I have no idea what a vegan diet is, or do I have any hope that a vegan diet would cure anybody of anything. But I know a starch-based diet does, and it happens to also be a vegan diet in most cases. So, you know, I have, I have some strong, as you can well tell, I have some strong feelings about vegetarian and vegan diets. I see so many people trying to get healthy, and they will uh, switch to a nu nutrient-dense diet of kale and broccoli. It doesn't seem to work. Or they'll, once they find out that kale and broccoli and cauliflower don't work, then they'll try and look for calories, and they look to nuts and seeds, and then they get fat. Or uh, one of these uh, special margarines, and then they get fat. And they just can never figure out how to get well, and they can't figure out how to make a vegan diet work, and neither can I. And I don't even know of any population that's ever lived on a vegan diet. But I know, of, uh, I know that 9.5 billion of the 10 billion people who've walked this earth have lived on a starch-based diet, which can easily be a vegan diet. It happens to be in my personal life. But the most important thing is to get most of your calories from starches with a few from vegetables and fruits. And as far as the animal thing goes, there are many reasons to say no, I think. I have to say that whole food plant-based still doesn't give me the direction I want. And, and that's why I'm so adamant, you may say obnoxious, but I'm so, <laughs> I'm so focused on getting people to use the word starch. The word starch was eliminated from, uh, from our, uh, our word usage in 1977 by the food industry. Your grandma used to talk about having various starches for lunch and dinner. And then in, the 19, in 1977, when they had the big debates for the dietary goals of the US, they decided to change it to complex carbohydrate. What in the hell is a complex carbohydrate? I wouldn't even know where to buy one, or find one, or how to eat one. But I sure know how to eat starches. So if you don't have that word back in your family's vocabulary, you can't, you can't as far as I'm concerned, you, you don't know what to eat. Whole food, plant-based. Is that kale? Is that cabbage? I mean, what is it? It's just not descriptive enough for me. I know this is the wrong place to bring up that argument, but you gave me the chance. <laughs> the, the USDA, in conjunction with the meat and dairy industry, have, uh, when they write their policies, like the dietary guidelines for Americans, they write every five years. They've got a new one coming out next year. When they write the guidelines, because the USDA uh, is dominated by people from the meat and the dairy and craft and other food industries, they write the guidelines so that the consumer doesn't stand a chance. When they talk about the bad things about food, they say avoid saturated fat and cholesterol. Well, what's a saturated fat? It's meat, dairy, and eggs. You see, if they said don't eat meat, dairy, and eggs, then the American consumer might stand a chance but industry would suffer, so they don't allow that, those terms in guideline policies. Likewise, they've eliminated the word starch so that you can't act as a consumer. You don't know what to eat. You eat complex carbohydrate. What? The words are important.